All right, we'd like to welcome everyone to Mr. Schuett's Period 3 English 1 Honors class. We're going to be reading some of our found poems today. Um, and so without further ado, we're going to start off with Ryan. So thank you for tuning in. Here we go. This is called The Night by Ryan Pastors. The clock, the clock struck 12 with a loud ding. Silence fell across the town. The sounds of footsteps died away as men left their businesses. The town of Chicago was so quiet you could hear the faintest snapping noise. Not once has the city been so silent. You couldn't even hear a faint gnawing sound. The night engulfs the town in darkness. So pitch black, a light couldn't even shine through. The only visible thing is the moon shining bright, giving people hope that the sun will rise again. Uh, Untitled by Evie Perez. The noise trailed off as it always is silent outside. Everything you know, hear, feel, die away. The silence came into the room and out of the night as it eagerly conquers the room. Two men sit across the room, await as silence takes over. The silence fell on the room and invades every little part of you. Minute after minute, the gnawing sound is heard, a shot from the distance. Both stare in confusion. For a moment, one realized the power of silence, the truth. He said nothing, but lay silently. stayed that way. The silence seemed to come out of the night and invade the room so that the men in there stilled, unsure of what to do. And George was so bold as to ripple the deck of cards and made a stall, small sound that in the moment was too loud for the men to bear. So they all turned to him and George stopped and let the silence creep back in. Daniela Rodriguez. Again and again you hear the chimes of the clock, seconds turning to minutes, hours turning to years. Seasons will pass by and yet all is still. No sounds can be heard, not even your breathing. Eyes and creatures passing by in the coldness of your nightmare, breathing is an impossible task to do. Outside the noise of the game stopped. There was a rise of voices in question. A drum of running feet, the spell was broken, suddenly coming to life the dangers of the abyss. And you want to scream and claw your way out, but that becomes almost near impossible to do. Finally, you open your eyes wide open. The ocean is gone, but the coldness lingers as you cover yourself from another cold winter morning. <laughs> Losing a friend by Nick Motiga. Silence lay in the outdoors, footsteps trailing from the door. It invaded the room at last, as several awkward minutes had passed. A gunshot rang out in the distance, as the old man kept his persistence to still stare at the ceiling, for that gunshot gave him a sickening feeling. The old man was not prepared to see that he was truly scared. He noticed he just lost his friend, a dog that stuck with him to the very end. silent, looking up at the ceiling. All the sounds around me seemed to fade away. No matter how soft or loud, it all disappeared. What's going on? I turned to look at my left side. 
Something is watching me. Our eyes locked. Why does it look like me? A minute passed, and another minute, and another minute. Why do I feel so weird? Still, I lay there in the silence, on my bed. I blink once, and continues to watch me. I blink again, it continues to watch me. I blink for a final time. Suddenly, it disappears. I feel comfortable in my own skin again. Untitled by Jillian Mueller, Mueller. A voice trailed off ever so quietly to where there was only silence outside. All the sounds were footsteps dead away and the place lay silent. The night has been pure, not a thing could be seen, nor a thing could be heard. It was the dead of the night, dark and silent. James Harden by Josh Ryan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> James Harden is so great, but sometimes he lets his defense escape. But that's just fine. But that's fine because of his offensive skills. If you try to guard him, you will be killed. He drives to the rim quicker than you can say Slim Jim. Gets to the free throw. Gets to the free throw line ten top, ten times. He averages more than that in dimes. People give him ridicule and hate because they can't accept the fact he is so great. Now about his beard. First it is to be feared and to be respected, a beard so perfected. It is like steel wool in the dark night, looking so marvelous in the bright light. When there is one second left on the clock, I trust James Harden to take the last shot. <laughs> <laughs> silence by Adam Joyce. What is silence? Silence is a voice that no one can hear as it hushes other sounds. Silence is the, low, is the slow friend that engulfs you with a quiet embrace when you're all alone. Silence is nothing but everything in and around us. Where does silence come from? Silence comes from a corner in a dark room with no one there. Silence comes from the black emptiness of the outside world. Silence comes from a simple hush from someone who enjoys its company. This is silence. <laughs> I would like to shout out Nick. My boy, and I can thank my mom. You know. All right, <clears throat> the song of silence by Joshua Hernandez. It came out of the night. Oh, how evil it was! Enough to send anyone, even the purest of voices, to the deep dark grave. Something even the light could not touch, for it was much too dark to see. The name of something so despicable can only be the sound of silence. The gnawing sound of man cannot overpower it, for it made them all lay silent. But such a foe would meet its end by a shot sounded in the distance that brought forth the sight of dawn, and such an event marked an end to the silence. And many people pray that it shall not find its way back into their world, but nothing in the world will stop the inevitable turn of the almighty and powerful sound of silence. by Veronica Diaz. They always thought that she looked happy, never a sad look on her face. But one day she left. Everyone knew about the news. Hearts were broken. They wanted to be alone. When they first heard the news, silence fell on the room. Till this day, when they have to tell people that she's gone, their voices always trail off. The thing is, they know that one day she would go, but they never thought that it would be so soon. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, my poem is about self-esteem, and I feel like it's a, a really big issue in 2016 among like teenagers and young adults. And it's just kind of like a reminder that someone always holds you higher than you think, whether that would be like religiously or like a friend or family, whatever. In This Mirror by Bridget Kafferubius. Who am I and who are you? A silence fell in the room. It's so cold in here. Will I ever escape this reflection in the mirror? This monster, this fear, a, dis a disgust, a question ran up my spine, up and down to each corner of each eye. I see you for who you are, but you can't see me for who I am. You and I, we are the same person. But now, in this mirror, can you see me? Lay silent, stay silent, as if you don't know what you truly are. Your voice, my voice, our voice, trails off into the depths of this night. If someone was right next to you, 